Hello there, my name is Blake447, and welcome to another video about 7D chess with multiverse time travel. Lately I've been working on a project in Python that takes a string containing an encoded game and generates a basic animation of the game in Blender. This is a rendering of a game between me playing black and a close friend playing white. This isn't really meant to be a tutorial, as playing the game with a virtual reality headset in VRChat is really the best experience, uh, since following along on a flat screen is kind of difficult. But this project I put a lot of effort into, and I think it makes for a neat animation in the end. Uh, if you aren't familiar with multiverse time travel chess, check out Connor Peterson's 5D Chess with Multiverse Time Travel on Steam, as this is primarily derivative of his work. White opens by moving one of their lower pawns hyper forward once. Black moves one of their queen's pawns forward once regularly. White advances their knight hyper forward once and laterally once to the left, creating an L shape. Black moves their bishop forward once and laterally once. White moves their king forward once, down once, and back in time one turn along a triagonal, splitting off a parallel universe in which they have two kings. Black repeats their advancement of their bishop. In the new timeline, White's king moves multiversally once into a board whose past has already been determined, splitting off another parallel universe attempting an exiled king strategy. Black advances their bishop forward once and hyperlaterally once in the alternate timeline. In the original timeline, they advance one of their lower pawns forward once. White moves their king multiversally once, attempting to move to a better position. Black continues advancing their upper pawn in the original timeline. In the second timeline, they begin advancing their queen. White moves their knight hyper forward once and hyper laterally up twice onto their opponent's volume. In the second timeline, they advance one of their knights hyper forward twice and hyper laterally up once, creating an L shape. Black moves their bishop forward once and hyper laterally upward once out of danger. Additionally, they begin advancing their queen forward once, hyperlaterally down once in the second timeline. White moves their knight hyper forward twice and multiversally once, creating an L shape. From the second timeline, black moves their queen along a triagonal hyper forward once, hyperlaterally up once, and multiversally once into the original timeline. White moves one of their queens from the original timeline multiversally into the second timeline. In the original timeline, Black advances their upper queen forward twice. In the second timeline, they advance one of their pawns. From the original timeline, White moves their upper queen multiversally into the second timeline, conglomerating all of their queens onto one board. Black moves their queen hyper forward once and multiversally once along a diagonal. On the timeline with four queens, white moves their uppermost queen hyperlaterally upwards once. On the original timeline, they advance one of their pawns hyper forward once, threatening black's queen. On the second timeline, black advances their queen hyper forward twice, hyperlaterally down twice into the enemy lines. 
Black then mirrors that same motion on the original timeline, placing this king in check. Black is threatening this current king with a forward, hyperlateral, upwards motion. However, this queen can also move along a triagonal, forward once, hyperlaterally upwards, and then once back in time, threatening this king in the past. Therefore, this piece must be captured in order to avoid a checkmate. Upon closer inspection, we see that white has no immediate pieces on this timeline that can capture this queen, except for the king itself. However, this queen is defended by a bishop, which can move hyper forward four times, hyperlaterally down four times to support the queen. While in theory, white could send one of their queens multiversally to defend their king, doing so would consume white's turn on both boards, allowing black's queen on the second timeline to capture one of white's kings. See, black's queen can move forward once, hyperlaterally upwards once, multiversally into the original timeline, and then back in time one turn to threaten the same king that the first queen is attempting to capture. On each timeline, black has one queen threatening white's king in the past. Since the past has already been determined, that king cannot move. The only way out of the checkmate is to capture both of the queens. However, since one of those queens can only be captured with a multiversal move, there is no way to fully deal with this check. White is in checkmate, and black has won this game. And with that, this game of 7D chess with multiverse time travel has concluded. Thank you for watching.